off my mask real quick. We are right outside of the Goodwill outlet, or more known as the bin. And so currently we are outside the retail store, and I want to take you guys behind the scenes to see how the product moves through the building from donations to their butts to the actual sales floor. So let's go on it. Have you guys ever wondered how the clothes ends up on the sales floor, how it gets tagged, or how it ends up at the Goodwill Outlet bins, or even the people behind this whole production? Well, we gotta take it back to the very beginning of this clothes cycle. So I'm taking y'all to the first stop of the clothes cycle, which is the donation center. Anytime you donate your items, they get sorted depending on whether it's a soft good or hard good. So soft goods are any items that are made of fabrics, so things like clothes or curtains. On the other hand, hard goods would be like little knickknacks, collectibles, or home decor. And so throughout this whole entire video, you guys are going to see these metal crates on wheels, and they're called mutts. They carry the inventory donations throughout the entire building until they hit either the bins or the sales floor. And Goodwill's doing a pretty awesome job at adhering to health protocols because of the pandemic. So all donations are held in mutts for at least 72 hours before they enter the building and start getting sorted. off my mask for just a quick second but I want to show you inside this warehouse isn't it freaking crazy okay so pretty much if you see behind me we have what they call mutts and so they fill them up with a whole bunch of clothes and they pretty much travel through the building until they hit either the bins or the retail store and this is everything before it's sorted and tagged so let's go ahead and take a look at these mutts and see what if we can find or spot anything cool but we're gonna put our masks back on Okay, so you guys know the Goodwill Outlet, the bins that we all love and adore and have had plenty of experiences there. Well, let me show you guys. Don't those look familiar? Those are the bins that you'll see when you're rummaging through the outlet bins. This is their tipper here. All the merchandise is inside. It tips over into the blue bin and then they roll it out straight onto the floor. Outlets. This scene might look familiar to you guys if you've been to the Goodwill Outlets or the bins here. So this is the end result. We have our own bin right here. It's full of all that clothes that the tipper just poured into it. And now we're ready to get rummaging.
they make these bales of clothing through this monster blue machine right here. So what they do is drop clothes at the very bottom here. It travels up here, drops back into the bottom, and it creates this huge bale of clothing. And so this is the end result. And the bales are then secured with a wire right here, you can see there, to make sure that nothing falls out of place and it's packaged all nice and neat. It's pretty cool, right? currently in their e-commerce section. So if you go to shopgoodwill.com, I'll leave all the links down below. This is where they organize everything. And y'all, they have a ton of inventory. It's ridiculous. So I'm gonna give you a little sneak peek. They have everything from like shoes to books to little knickknacks that we'll find. So we're gonna see how they're organized and how they are photographed. So let's go inside. here where they go ahead and they take photographs of collectibles and they're more expensive things so let's take a look at a little setup here so we have a backdrop here they're using something that's like totally white super clean so we have the light bouncing off the backdrop onto the item so that you get a really clear nice image and it looks like they have a measuring tape here just to take measurements for when they're writing copy or those descriptions and of course they need a computer so everything looks nice and organized once something is bought off of shopgoodwill.com, it then gets traveled right over here and so we are currently in their packaging area. So pretty much, they're packing everything nice and neat and organized before it heads over to your doorstep. Any packing supply you could possibly think of, you'll definitely be finding in this room. They've got a really crazy cool machine that builds different size boxes depending on what you need and they've got roll after roll after roll of bubble wrap and a ton of styrofoam peanuts to ensure the safety of your package. A huge thank you to Marla, a marketing specialist at Goodwill, who gave us a tour of the facility and also a big thank you to the employees of the Atwater Village location for being super welcoming and allowing us to film and making Arthur and I feel totally at ease. You guys, I recommend that you stop by this location. If not for the bins and for the retail store, I will leave the location and any links needed down below in the description box. But as always, I post videos once a week. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!